Miss Story, the defendant was your boyfriend for a period of time. You lived with him in his house. Yes. From when to when? From uh, June 8th of 2015 to the first week in December when I moved out, so about six months. Prior to moving in with him, where did you live? Um, in my own home, which I still own. My husband and I were separated, um, living under the same roof, and it was just a lot of stress. Okay. And where did you go after you left him? I got my own apartment. Who do you work for? I did work for ISIS, but right now I'm about to go back to Emory. What kind of work do you do? A nurse. You get paid by check? Yes, ma'am. You put it in a checking account? Yes, ma'am. And is that how you pay your bills? Yes, ma'am. Could you explain to me why, when you claim at some point when you were living with Mr. Crutcher, he lost his income for a period of time, and you claim you gave him $5,000 as a loan, could you explain to me why you used cashier's checks rather than checks from your own bank? Well, I just thought it would be a better record of keeping account. You thought it would be a better record? Show me the better record. Well, for the cashier's account, I just thought it would be a better record. Show me the... Well, in a bank account, you get a statement. Yes, ma'am. You get a statement. They're all not here. only do you get no, not only do you get a statement, but you can get a copy of the check that's endorsed. Yes, ma'am. And so you have proof that not only did you pay the check, but that the defendant cashed the check. Yes, ma'am. So that's a lot of paperwork. All I want to see, you said you gave him three cashier's checks for yes, $5,000. No, they added up to that. There was two for $1,500 and one for $2,000 and then a personal check. Just a second. So I have a personal check yes, for $500. Yes, ma'am. And then I have, which is smart because then he endorsed it, then I believe it, $500. Then I see a Wells Fargo, and this is Wells Fargo, so your account. Yes, ma'am. Then you transferred at a totally different time, once in June and yes, once in October. You wired $1,500 into his account. Yes, ma'am. And then... But this isn't a wire. No, they're cashier's checks that I got out of my bank account so I could keep record of the loan because he was supposed to be getting retirement money and he said as soon as he got the retirement money, he would pay me back the money that I let him borrow. These are all different times. Yes, ma'am, because the first month, and I lived with him in June, he said he needed a certain amount to pay his mortgage because he was going to lose his home. Well, you left your house and yes, you were working at the yes, time. Yes, ma'am. And you were earning money. And yes, now you're in your own apartment. So I assume you're paying rent. Were you paying him any rent? Did you have discussions about rent? No, he begged me to come live with him. He said he would take care of me because I was trying to get out of a messy divorce. That's okay. But didn't you have any conversation about contribution to the house? Well, yeah, I paid for all the groceries. I paid for oil changes on his car and truck. I uh, bought a new AC because he didn't have AC in his house. I bought furniture. You left the air conditioning? Yes, he still has the air conditioner. Just a second. How much did you pay for the air conditioner? Like $395. You still have the air conditioner? Yes, Your Honor. She didn't want to take it. Just a second. And furniture? What kind of furniture? I uh, bought him a recliner because he said his back hurt. Okay. And you still have the recliner? She can have it. Just, just a second. I don't you want have it. it. Yes, ma'am. You have it? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Great. What kind of work do you do? Truck driver. Okay. Was there a time when you were out of work? Yes, Your Honor. When was that? From when to when? Around June, July, August of last year. Until what date did you go back to work? Uh, sometime in September. And were you getting any disability at that time? No, Your Honor. How did you expect to pay your mortgage? I, at the time, I... Couldn't hardly think about how to get to the restroom, much less all the other things that was going on well, in my life. Well, tell me about how she put this money into your account, sir, so that you were able to pay your mortgage. She Thousands moved in college? in April prior to her going into rehab, and yes. uh, I helped her through that. And then Well, helped her. That doesn't tell me anything. Uh, I supported her. Um, Financially. Financially, I gave her a place to live. No, just a second. Financially, you gave her a place to live in April. Yes, Your Honor. And then um, in May uh, 8th, I believe it was, she went into rehab. Okay, so that for a short period of time. Right, and okay. she was there for a month. And then, so in June, now we're talking about June. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now in June, you're no longer working. Yeah, he just quit. Shh. When You're no longer working. I believe that's around the time I got out of work, yes, ma'am. And it okay. was health problems. Fine. 